Hello everyone, this is Mafia Man coming at you with a StarCraft Star Battle. This is a six on six ship building action game in the StarCraft universe. Uh, starring Dr. Chuck and uh, Shenson, uh, both starting off as Colossuses, Colossi, Alik as a frigate, Goku as a uh, uh, raven who started off with an EMP shock rate, shockwave, Big Long Ding starting off with an interceptors at six. Wow, he went for six. How did... I guess he sacrificed a little bit of speed to get them all the way up there. Some people um, only really can push out the five. Maybe he randomed. Um, Mr. Omnipotent, starting off with a uh, uh, Void Ray, who started off with Blink as well. Relatively standard Void Ray play. We have Yen, who um, started off as Leviathan, uh, who has Warp as well as uh, In-Flight evol Evolving. Neo and Nocturne, uh, the two ends starting off with Frigates, uh, let's say Missiles and Missiles. Actually, the exact same build. That's Kind of, no, they're not. A little bit less. Uh, Space Monkey, the Arbiter, who started off with a uh, Electromagnetic Storm. Ghetto SC, who started off with a Tomato Cannon. And is there somebody else? Oh, nope, guess not. Guess not. All right. Um, so, let's see. We have more of a kind of a missile intensive build on the uh, red side and more of a tank intensive build. Um, let's see, on the blue side. All right, uh, so they're kind of pushing each other back, um, feeling each other out. We have a uh, farming uh, uh, Leviathan back here. Uh, so he's basically the, the red team is basically kind of hoping that like the uh, Leviathan can farm a little bit, get kind of like uh, extra money. Uh, but that does kind of put them in a five versus six scenario. Hey, ghetto, don't uh, don't don't overextend here. You're down a person. Um, technically. Oh, and then we have Mr. Omnipotent. So we have dual farming. We have a four versus six situation and they have tanks, so it's really no surprise that the uh, red side, whatever's left of them, is uh, kind of staying in this, uh, staying by their base, because they really don't have very much, op very many options. Um, even team compositionally, uh, they don't have as many tanks. Tanks are usually good to um, help push out, right? They can tank a lot of damage, um, so it helps kind of push out to the uh, to the other team's base. Shenson um, is a Colossus and is is almost out of shields, uh, but so uh, Goku is shielding. Now he has um, EMP. Uh, with the Raven, you can uh, transfer shields, so you can use your EMP freely, uh, unlike the Arbiter, who is, I think, also healing, but has to choose between uh, healing and uh, doing damage. Uh, is that going to be enough to save Shenzhen, though? He's at uh, about 2,000 life right now. Oh, they're, will they get an early kill from the very beginning of the game? It is only 1,000 life left, and the rest of the team is taking damage, but they will, yes, they do take out uh, Shenzhen, but now Nocturne and Ghetto AC are very low. Um... Even Yen is uh, a little bit out of position, and, and uh, although he's the tank, he's kind of like, "Hey guys, please, please pay attention to me. Um, don't, don't shoot at Nocturne. Nocturne is just trying to escape. He is getting killed by Space Monkey, uh, but he, Space Monkey, because he's an Arbiter, has to choose between attack and uh, defense. Uh, Yen and Mr. Omnipotent both trying to put uh, Gex Hunt. Gazuntite might be taken out. Uh, the Raven is a shield transfer unit, but does not have very many shields to transfer. He has, and." Gazuntite is taken out. Uh, Yen uh, has to retreat. Now, uh, that actually paid off pretty well. Uh, both of the uh, farming ships, uh, the solo farmers, actually came back. Now, that's very important. Okay, so this is a team building game. Um, now, team building games usually rely on, hey, let's, let's call them a team. Um, the uh, Yen and Mr. Omnipotent both went up there to try to farm, but then they importantly came back when, uh, I'm not even sure if there was an actual ping, but maybe just map awareness wise, they came back when they needed to, which really helped. Sometimes you get people who um, really want to solo farm and be great at the, at the end of the game, forgetting that, hey, there's an entire beginning of the game that's also important. So um, that's gr good job on them um, for doing that. Um, but actually, as, as it turns out, so we, we have a um, four, uh, a, a, a six on six scenario, but only uh, a four on four in action right now because uh, Ghetto SC and uh, Nocturne had to go back. Neo is getting attacked. Um, he is the one, and he might not make it out of the Matrix right now because he is yeah, he being healed. No, he's taken out. Um, they had to retreat. 
uh, Neo uh, had 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 to had to get out on that there a little bit quicker than uh, he could have his uh, cord pulled. Um, let's see. And that actually happens in So because this is a six-on-six six game, uh, the one in, uh, distinguishing factor between this and other MOBAs is that there's only one life. So uh, Get It With C and Nocturne went back to base because they were because they were hurt. Now, could they have uh, upgraded uh, Warp? Maybe. Did they? No. So um, they couldn't come back even if they wanted to. Uh, so it was a four-on-four four scenario for, uh, in, in, in essence. Um, Kind of de facto situation, um, so that kind of gave the blue side an opportunity to eke out one kill, evening up a little bit back to a uh, five versus four scenario. Alik, being kind of smart, um, he is staying well within in these uh, house tempests. Um, he has shields, like a lot of shields. Wow, he has a lot of shields, uh, but he's also staying inside of where the Tempest range is. Um, he's being their protector, they're being his protector. It's a very cute little synergy. Uh, Ghetto Asu, who went for a uh, Tomato Cannon, um, does not have the ability to uh, push up and do that because his main thing is a burst damage. He can now shoot it, um, but uh, he doesn't have the missiles. He doesn't have the uh, range and all that or the beefiness to take on both. Uh, Tempest and Alik's missiles, which are also upgraded. Um, Alik actually went for zero zero abilities. Now he could go back and get some, but he also could not. He's a missile tank, and you know what he's really good at right now? Missiling. Uh, was that it? Yeah, there was an EMP on Yen. Um, Yen is in the position to do a lot of damage. He is pushing up. Oh, and there's a hold up, a very quick little hold up, just to uh, stop the momentum of uh, Alik. Uh, Nocturne is hurt, but he's kind of like pushing, pulling back a little bit. Oh, he is pushed back entirely by Dr. Chunk. Dr. Chunk, um, the uh, Colossus, uh, maybe it may have just saved him right there because any extra missiles would have probably taken out somebody. Um, we have Big Long Ding did go for the Tempest. They are now in the right position. They have to kind of fly out. Nocturne has to push back. Um, he's a uh, missile boat, and he really doesn't have very much uh, uh, base hold armor health to like really take on all these things, even though they're not very well upgraded. In fact, at zero upgrades on the Tempest, uh, still the range is hurting Nocturne. Don't, don't die here. All right. Um, and you see they, uh, Nocturne the Frigate um, is a missile boat, and he has only uh, 6,000 life in total and uh, zero and 5,000 uh, shields in total, and he had zero shields and like 2,000 uh, life, uh, and he really has no armor. He's um, kind of just a big old long distance, don't, uh, you know, attacking from a distance but not trying to take any damage, and, and he was taking damage. So, Yen, ooh, very nice positioning. Uh, he has so many tentacles. Uh, he is exactly what he's supposed to be now. I guess it seems like most of, a lot of the uh, of, of the red side didn't really go for very many um, uh, installations, ju just, the, just the upgrades. Uh, Yen especially, because he, he went for kind of the uh, tentacles. Hey, he's, he's a Leviathan, he's supposed to have a lot of them, and he certainly does. Helping with farming, also helping if he gets close. Um, and he has enough speed at 1.71 to try to get close. Um, blue side trying to push back. And they do. Oh, Nocturne does get EMP'd and does have a secret missile coming in. Now, secret missiles go, I think, at like 1.81 speed. Um, and the uh, and he's only going at 1.71. Plus, there's a uh, Colossus on him. 1, 2 combination. And boom goes the dynamite. Uh, Nocturne was taken out by Goku. Um... Dr. Chunk, moving in, he has a lot of energy. He also has Thermal Lance. He's, uh, let's see. Uh, so he's he's the uh, tank. He's also um, using his Hardened Shield. Hey, look it up here, Yen. Uh, he is doing what a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, Leviathans do. They're sort of independent. They're gonna see, they're gonna uh, stand up there. They can in-flight um, upgrade, which is different than many other ships. Um, but many times they just kind of like stay independent and don't really uh, like to hang out with their team. So he's escaping, he has plenty of health and he's not even being attacked, but he's also not trying to go back to base. Um, except he is now, of course, because he wants to prove me wrong. Uh, he's warping back to base. Most times Leviathans will stay out there just to get their uh, base upgrades 
all the ones down there. Um, he went back to base to get Interception, which is the little charge ability, and Rapid Regeneration, which is the healing ability, and Corruption, which is uh, doing which makes every other target that they attack do take extra damage. So he went back to get a bunch of installations. Now he's uh, he's probably gonna go back into the field and just get a lot of money to support those. He has three uh, installations right now and zero energy. I mean, he upgraded like twice or three times. Um, so not very many. Uh, he actually can't support any, any of these, uh, much less all three of them. So he has to go back and um, get upgrades. All right. Now let's see. Uh, the blue side is being pretty cautious, right? It's a uh, four on four scenario. Uh, and a leak is gonna use his um, quick reload, which is kind of an unused, underused ability. So I really like that one. It helps you shoot twice. Um, since the missiles are pretty good, they're making them shoot twice instead of uh, waiting for the four seconds. Uh, Big Long Ding using his uh, his Tempest kind of defensively. So that kind of, see that little like area right there? Uh, the entire red side's trying to get out of that little area. Um, and they do. Um, now you can't actually see that when you click on them, but like just they feel out where, uh, where that is. Uh, you saw that the Tempest waited until they got to about there to shoot. That's not because they were um, on hold position or something like that. They just, um, they, 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 the Tempest can shoot further than they can, than they can see. So they probably just didn't have vision. So, let's see. Malik using the after he runners, he upgraded mines. Ooh. These mines aren't upgraded just yet, but they does have a lot of energy, energy to start, start to uh, support them. Uh, probably, uh, you know, uh, trying to be a little sneaky. Uh, and that's where there's a feedback on them. No more mines for you, no more afterburners for you, and quick reload. Uh, quick reload and afterburners are the cheap ones. Mines are the uh, really like energy intensive one. Oh, and uh, the Leviathan getting EMP'd and being attacked, uh, mostly just pushed back. Um, let's see. Space Monkey's still going in there to save him, although he can't shield them, uh, he can feed back. There we go. It's a little bit of an energy war. Um, let's look at the team composition lead. We got one tank, uh, Leviathan on the red side, one tank, a uh, Colossus on the blue side. We got one uh, support ship, a Raven on the blue side. We got one. Uh, support ship, ooh, nice, uh, Yamato, uh, Arbiter, uh, battle cruiser to a, uh, frigate, and a, uh, uh, carrier to a void race. So basically, kind of mirror matchup teams, um, we could say that the, um, the, ooh, pushing back, um, they're relatively mirror matchup teams, uh, team compositionally, but the, each one of them is a little bit different, so, like, um, uh, th th they, they have slightly different roles, but but that, that, that's the closest matchup we can get. Beautiful EMP from Goku, uh, hitting everybody here, hitting uh, EM, uh, Ghetto and Yen. Uh, let them know that there's mines. Um, mines. Let's see. Dr. Chunk uh, went for even more abilities. Now, in this game, one of the interesting parts about it is that uh, people ask, oh, so, you know, hey, I have, um, you know, an energy deniability, let's call it feedback. Who should, who should I EMP or, or feedback? Answer, everybody. Everybody's overpowered. There's no, like, I, I know that it's easy to say that there's, like, a um, perfect late game ship that's, you know, maybe the carrier, maybe the void ray, and oh my gosh, if we let them survive for 18, 20 minutes, they're going to just steamroll us. No, every ship is overpowered if you let it go uh, without without being checked, without being uh, EMP'd or feedbacked. Um, energy is important for everybody. Some people are just more important than others. Um, kind of an all animals are equal. Some animals are more equal than others. We have a uh, Mr. Omnipotent. He's cloaked and he's kind of burning his cloak right now uh, because he was inside of the Big Long Ding's uh, Tempest. And the blue side smartly retreating. They um, they're trying to keep their financial their finances about the same. Um, up a hundred, down a hundred. That's that's even as even as you can be. Oh my gosh! Look at all the mines. It's a minefield everywhere. Yen found one. Um, and I guess they may or may not be. No, they're they're. I think they're on the hold position. 
Uh, they might. Uh, so if you fly into them, they just explode. You can have them turn off to be like, uh, you know, you can fly over them without them exploding. Let's see. Ooh, Space Monkey, interestingly saying that the observer is all yours. Oh, come on, let's find the observer. Um, so, let's see. He's giving it to Yen. Yen's taking on an extra little ship. Let's see. Oh, he's saying share to Nocturne, because I think Nocturne's dead. Um, and so he's giving, he, if he gets an uh, observer, he might give it to them. Let's see. Dr. Chunk trying to protect his, the uh, Tempest, but there's just so many of the uh, little farm ships around them that the Tempest won't have done it very long for the world. Uh, get OSC using scan. That's the that's the detection range of scan. It's like nothing, but it does show them on the mini map. It shows the uh, entire blue side on the mini map. Not their minds, not the minds, but it does show the uh, blue side on the mini map. So there's no like chance of running around. Now look at this spread out minefield. Like hey. There's all the mines everywhere. Some people stack them up, um, and uh, you know you 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 fly over one uh, a, a patch of minefields. But this is sort of the opposite strategy of kind of like a Zerg creep, showing everything on the map and a little bit of explosion when you run over them. You know, a little bit. Um, there we go. Hey, there's the observer, buddy. There you are. Uh, I think that that was shared to Nocturne. Um, so Nocturne is dead, right? But um. Uh, what's it called? Space Monkey went back, bought Observer, and is giving it to Nocturne. Uh, Nocturne has to uh, detect in order to see the mines. Uh, it doesn't automatically do that. It costs energy, um, five energy per second. Um, and the uh, Observer just, ha you know, has 150. So he's kind of like doing that. Um, perfect shot by Dr. Chunk, by the way, um, on his uh, thermal lance. Big long ding. Uh, playing a very defensive role. He's trying to balance out uh, his two main things that he loves. His um, interceptors, uh, which are at 14. Eh, it's fair. And the, uh, you know, uh, and the uh, Tempest, also pretty decent. A leak. Ooh, getting a hold up. A defensive hold up. Um, you saw that there. It does. It is like a slightly channeling ability. The uh, arbiter can only hold people for as long as it can stay in the radius. Um, but the important thing that it did right there is uh, was cut the momentum because uh, the seven mine, the seven missiles. Even though he's kind of going for mines, thus it does have missiles. OMG back, uh, and they are OMG backing right now. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, we have. Dr. Chunk protecting the, there they are, two Tempests kind of injured, um, kind of mothering them. And yeah, uh, they're mentioning that uh, the mines are very spread out. There's no like one place that's extremely dangerous. All of the places is a little bit dangerous. Um, that helps give vision. Look at him, he's setting up a nice little like contain right there. A um, little anaconda strategy um, from the Civil War. Um, and it does offer a lot of detection. You know, you can't do if they, um, if they have you like that, uh, you can't move out without being seen. Um, there's no going around the sides, right? Uh, and and let's, think, let's think about the strategic value of that. That's actually very important because we have Yen who went around the sides in the very beginning of the game. We have Mr. Omnipotent who went around the sides in the very beginning of the game. Um, both of them were known to be uh, sneaky. Both of them have to get close, right? Yen is a uh, Leviathan, attacks using his, uh, his um, tentacles at five range, basically hugging distance. Uh, Mr. Omnipotent can't go past eight range on his uh, prismatic beam, so, um, so they have to, uh, you know, what's it called? Um, uh, get, get close. Well, the best way of getting close is getting around the sides. Um, look, at, look at that, Get OSC is taken. Uh, yes, no, just kidding. He, um, he, he's a hallucination. Um, so, in order to detect the people who might go around the sides, mines everywhere, that, that, that works to me. Um, oh, Yen jumping in, using interception and using frenzy. Uh, he's doing double the damage right now, but he has to retreat because there's everybody on, on attacking him right now. Uh, they're attacking Dr. Chunk, who loves to be attacked because he's, he's the uh, tank. Um, and, they, and they've successfully defended what otherwise would have been a pretty, dam pretty damaging thing to Goku. Um, Goku's main... Uh, $400 ability, ability blackout actually doesn't affect um, Yen whatsoever. Um, let's see if he goes for uh, for uh, bug spray. That'd be kind of funny. It'd be very specific. Uh, the bug spray only affects uh, Zerg ships. Is only one of them. Um, 
but it is really good for that one thing that it does affect. Um, Nocturne saying, give. I am here. Give me the control of the observer. And hallucinations. Um, now, hallucinations could help to run into the mines. What you should probably do is um, turn them off detonate mode and, and turn them on um, uh, the not detonate, detonate mode, the mode where like you can run over them and fly over them without them exploding, um, unless the person tells you tells them to explode. That may help um, give the value of uh, vision without just wasting the damage. Although it does 700 damage, it's not like it's completely wasted. It's just you know sometimes better to have uh, extra damage. Blue side sort of not being blue sides being being properly cautious here. They are not really going past half. They actually didn't stay together. Um, they're letting the mines do, do the detection. They're not letting people go around the side, whoop, like these people. Um, and they're just kind of staying in base. Especially, uh, Alik, you gotta move back. He's uh, he's at full health, but then he has two of the most heavy damaging ships, both on him. Uh, Yen uses Frenzy uh, and is doing damage, doing damage, doing damage, doing damage. Alik, will he get into healing range? Oh, it doesn't matter because he doesn't, and he also is gonna be taken out. We have a, a, a let's see if Dr. Chun can make up the difference. Um, he has Thermal Lance and quite a bunch of it. Um, he, oh, he's going for the invincibility shield. The invincibility shield really made a difference there. Um, I don't think he can be uh, feedbacked. And there was a perfect blackout, by the way, from uh, Goku. Uh, now Dr. Chunk is attacking Ghetto SC, um, trying to use that. I think he just went out of his invincibility shield, and he now is vulnerable to uh, being, having his energy drained. And without his energy, he's really a little bit less, a lot less of a tank. Um, we have these uh, big, long ding Tempest. Uh, at, we're upgraded 13. Um, in good position to de to defend right there. Um, now they don't know the difference between uh, uh, the, the phantoms and the other guys, but like, you know, even still, um, a really almost successful um, attack. Uh, they just kind of ran. Uh, they, they were unable to to save their buddy there, Space Monkey, um, flying around uh, with his uh, uh, phantom relatively close to him. Get a C kind of just throwing away, throwing out the. Um, the the the, the uh, scan, he doesn't know where the mines are, uh, so he's just and he kind of thought that they were everywhere, so he's just kind of scanning blindly. Um, you don't really know where they are, right? Um, it's not even like there's a ripple to detect. You have to just kind of like guess, and his guess wasn't very good, but it does show where the uh, team is. So maybe that's constellation victory. Uh, Yen, being alone, he is a solo farmer. Um, just because he's a Leviathan, uh, but sometimes you want to get a little bit cautious. Even though you're at 20 armor and uh, 20,000 life, you don't want to die. So, when he actually warps over to um, where the uh, Arbiter was, uh, he wasn't going back to base, he was just going back there. He's using his Corruption, that's the uh, GAC. He's using his Frenzy, that's that's the Red Wave. Uh, let's see, both of the uh, t two heavy damage dealers forced Chunk to um, use Invulnerability Shield, the uh, ultimate upgrade. Get OSC, uh, using, he mostly has lasers, I think mostly just lasers to uh, defend against the uh, interceptors and such. Um, um, defensive uh, stasis, again, from um, from Space Monkey, now he's actually staying with them, whoa, does he get out? Oh, he is, Space Monkey is taken out by just the uh, Tempest, both the House Tempest and Big Long Dings. Uh, stasis uh, channels you into in, into an ability uh, in, into into an area, and he uh, really couldn't uh, go past uh, there. He had to cut, he had to stay a little bit too long. So now they don't have a support unit. There's no support unit on the um, on the red side anymore. Ghetto SC has scan. He doesn't have lockdown, but I mean now he's maybe in the position where he needs to. Um, before the energy drain ability was. Um, Go, was basically through the arbiter, and now he doesn't. Now, now there's no arbiter. So um, let's see if he goes back and gets um, gets uh, what's it called? Uh, lockdown. But look at these. Even not protected, they are doing so much damage. I mean, they might get the shields down, maybe. Um, uh oh, Yen all alone. He's going for the attack. Uh, Ghetto jump. Ghetto warps in. There's the. Uh, you know, defensive matrix. There's a nuke. No, no. There's there's a uh, a, a Yamato, and does and Yen jumps in because he wants to take out the, uh, the 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 support unit because 
it's not designed to take very much damage. Um, while uh, Dr. Chunk most definitely was, and he most definitely was taking a lot of damage, uh, they have to all defend because the interceptors are really good from a big long ding. Perfect little uh, beach ball right there from uh, Mr. Omnipotent. That is the uh, Chrono Rift. Chrono Rift slows down anything that's in the area, so um, interceptors and missiles uh, just and farm ships uh, get slowed down, make them a lot easier, easier to shoot down. And that saved them. Uh oh, we got a lag, lag spike. Oh, there we go. All right, let's hope that that, uh, hope that, that works out. Um, now, uh, there's still a few mines remaining, not very many. Um, Dr. Chunk trying to get take a chunk out of um, Ghetto SC, and he, to he totally is. With uh, the, uh, the the Thermal Lance, he uses it once, twice, maybe three times a lady? No, just, just twice, because uh, Mr. Omnipotent, who's... Uh, who, uh, you know, was cloaked, went into attack, um, and there is most definitely the threat of, uh, EMP and blackout on the, uh, on, um, Mr. Omnipotent, so he doesn't want to go commit too much with his cloak right now. Now, we have the, uh, blue side. It's a three versus three right now. Uh, Yen is still kind of solo attacking, which he, which most definitely makes sense. He has to get close, um, but he also has to be cautious because he doesn't want to be too far away from everybody. Um, Dr. Chunk, oh, uh, the Mr. Omnipotent warped in and kind of went the opposite way. Um, Yen is going, he just really wants that, um, he really wants Goku, he really wants Goku. He is going to do double the damage, but, he has, but he's taking quite a lot of it as well. Oh, there's Purifier Beam, Purifier Beam from the uh, Void Ray. Uh, if Ghetto SC isn't going to uh, drain energy, Mr. Omnipotence certainly is. Uh, it's the underutilized uh, Void Ray special attack. Um, where it, I don't think I can choose it, uh, where it drains energy as well. Um, I mean, you can drain energy as Void Ray, and usually people use their energy uh, to save themselves from Void Rays. Whew, beautiful. Let's see. Good OSC. Doesn't have, doesn't have lockdown. So, I mean, it's good that, he, that there is energy deny at all. Uh, scan. No more mines, buddy. But, um, let's see. I guess it does show them where they are. I mean, they're, they're here. They probably could visually see them, but now they have a uh, confirmation that they're not doing anything crazy. So... Uh, kind of a goose chase. Um, sometimes you can find Void Rays, say, hey, there they are, try to chase them for, like, ever. And most of the time, yeah, they're actually comparable in speed right now. Um, you usually won't ch won't catch Void Rays because they can cloak away or blink away. Or use their uh, Chrono Rift, actually, against you as well. Uh, Doc and the uh, blue side is staying by their base. Um, they have to be a defensive right now. Um, they really don't want to go past, <clears throat> past half waypoint because... Uh, Yen and Mr. Omnipotent are both heavy damage dealers. I mean, look at that. 0.25 speed, 110 prismatic beam. That is, uh, that is some hefty damage. Uh, and even if you can take a lot of damage like the Chunk is, um, you, you don't want to um, overextend. Goku, he knows that he's like the MVP. Kind of, everybody's an MVP in, in my book, but um, he especially is the one who can heal and use blackout. Hopefully, maybe a blackout would be the best way of taking out uh, anybody on the red side. Um, and Red Side's trying to stay at base. They really have a slight financial advantage. I mean, it's it's exactly even, basically. So, um, so that almost makes it feel like um, Big Long Ding's not quite able to farm as much as he would like to. Dr. Chunk warping in, and he just wants to burn them. He just wants to keep on using it. He got locked down right there. Lockdown does drain some energy. He has 700, so he has a lot more energy to drain, but it also stops you from using the ability. Uh, is Yen going to commit to this? He's going to take out Goku despite all the damage that it could possibly do. He does. Uh, the, the tower is attacking, uh, but Yen just has so much health uh, that even the Interceptor is being attacked. Uh, let's see. Dr. Chunk might just have to start using um, his, his, uh, his, his, his invulnerability shield, which he does, um, pushing Yen back. Will he commit? Will uh, Dr. Chunk commit to attacking? Oh, he might just keep on attacking Ghetto SC because the Ghetto SC is a lot, a lot weaker as a um, as a ship. He's not. He's not. He's more of a damn missile boat than a, uh, anything else. Um, and Ghetto SC and Yen escape. Mr. Omnipotent was uh, Mr. Farming Buddy over there. He decided not to join the uh, attack. Um, maybe he will right now. Maybe he might blink in. If he does, he could take out Chunk. Nope. No, he doesn't. Um, but will Yen just take him out anyway? 
with the corruption, he could, he's down to, oh, he used his recharge shield, his recharge shield, uh, uh, what's it called, recharge is 16% of his, uh, his life, which is 2080, I'm not doing math, I'm reading, um, uh, so, so that, that saved him right there. Uh, and the Void Ray, Mr. Omnipotent, is just farming. Um, void Rays are actually not very good when you, um, at, at the front of the base. Like, everything except here, uh, at, at the base, they're super helpful for. But, um, when they get close to the base, the base, uh, towers can detect them, right? And they have range of 10, so the Void Rays can't attack without being attacked. Um, so they kind of, like, sit there and try to farm up, wait for the people to come out, and there's really, uh, nothing there. Observer? Is anybody flying the Observer? We haven't seen very much Observer action in the past little bit. Let's see. Because anybody who's dead on the red side could be piloting them, but I think they just kind of forgot about it. Sorry, little Observer, buddy. I still love you, but, um, we might, we might have, uh, forgot to press the, uh, invite button. Yen is staying up there. Are they, is the uh, red side gonna, uh, warp to them? Yes, they are. Ghetto SC at least is. Uh, he scans. There's no mines, I promise you. But he is he is looking for the red, for the blue side. Um, we got Dr. Chunk uh, and Mr. Omnipotent. And Mr. Omnipotent um, used his uh, cloak and used his uh, purifier beam. But Dr. Chunk just had so much energy that it didn't drain at all. And he was using his uh, invincibility shield, which might unfortunately run out just as a... Uh, Ghetto and um, get, get, Ghetto can use his lockdown, uh, so Dr. Chunk has to like retreat, retreat, retreat. There he is, big long game trying to protect his own, um, his own uh, tempests, uh, which are actually seen by the observer. Good job, buddy. You you helped. You didn't move, but you helped. Dr. Chunk, uh, we got a um, uh, you know a lot of energy being drained. He does use his uh, recharge shield 2080 uh, twice. Oh, and there's a vortex that cut, that catches the Leviathan off guard. Uh, let's see. Dr. Chunk, will he survive if he can use it again? Maybe, maybe, maybe? Oh, and Mr. Omnipotent takes him out and blinks away? Big long ding. Um, now, oh, he just left the game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is uh, Mafu Man saying uh, press like, press subscribe. We're doing StarCraft Star Battles all the time. I guess we can do it, but... Where? Hold on. Somebody else, ooh, somebody took over. Somebody took over a uh, big long ding. Oopies. My bad. Uh, so we are still playing. Big long ding left. But that doesn't mean that uh, everybody left on the uh, team. So the game registers and everybody leaves, right? So somebody was sitting there. Um, we have kind of a uh, zombie attacker. Um, uh, somebody is controlling Big Long Ding's ship, because Big Long Ding left. Um, and let's see. We might get a quick kill. No, uh, okay. Mr. Omnipotent might, may, was actually paying attention. He did take down um, the tower a lot more than I thought. Um, I think everybody's just trying to uh, avoid the Tempest, right? Because they have this little area of attack. And they, if they don't see you, they won't turn. If they don't see you, they won't turn. Oh, Yen doesn't care. He's just going to go in there. He's going to try to use his uh, introduction. Uh, he's going to use Frenzy. He's attacking. We got Mr. Omnipotent also going in, attacking Big Long Ding. And the carrier doesn't have the ability to, to, to defend itself. Oh, and now they're both taken out. So now everybody's on the uh, blue side is dead. We're actually going to be getting... Um, Hey, end of the game here. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. This is uh, Mafia Man saying, press like, press subscribe. We're going to be doing StarCraft Star Battle all the time. Take two.